Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will discuss about inflation which is said to be under control. I think it's really important to talk about this, to let you know how chaotic the situation is, and I hope you can overcome it. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Inflation is going down. Let's all celebrate. We all knew that when the Federal Reserve began aggressively hiking interest rates, it would have an impact on inflation. Higher rates have caused a new housing crash, they have crushed the tech industry, and they have sparked the biggest wave of layoffs that we have seen since the Great Recession. We have entered a significant economic downturn, so, it was inevitable that the annual rate of inflation would start to moderate. But as I will explain below, that doesn't mean that inflation is now under control. The real rate of inflation is much higher than we are being told, and people all over the country are being absolutely crushed by the rising cost of living. Let's start with the good news first. According to the Labor Department, the annual rate of inflation is rising at the slowest pace since October 2021. Consumer prices increased 6.5% from a year earlier, down from 7.1% in November, and a 40-year high of 9.1% in June according to the Labor Department's Consumer Price Index, a measurement of what people pay for goods and services, which Labor released on Thursday. The rise last month marks the slowest annual gain since October 2021 and matches economists' estimates. Okay, but Fox Business has just reminded us that the annual rate of inflation remains about three times higher than the pre-pandemic average. Still, inflation remains about three times higher than the pre-pandemic average, underscoring the persistent financial burden placed on millions of U.S. households by high prices. So, we are still definitely in a high inflation environment. But let's dig deeper. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Most Americans don't realize that the way that the inflation rate is calculated has literally been changed more than two dozen times since 1980. And every time it has been changed, the goal has been to make inflation appear to be lower than it actually is. If the rate of inflation was still calculated the way that it was back in 1980, the real rate of inflation would be close to 15% right now. That would be comparable to the peak inflation that we witnessed during the Jimmy Carter era. So, don't let anyone try to convince you that inflation is low, or under control, or anything like that. The main reason why the rate of inflation moderated somewhat during the month of December is because energy prices have been falling. Americans saw some real reprieve last month in the form of lower energy costs, which fell 6.1% in December. Gas prices dropped 12.5% over the month, the biggest contributor to the overall headline decline in inflation in December. That is great news, but it is already being projected that gas prices will rise significantly later this year. And once war in the Middle East erupts, gas prices will go to heights that most people never even dreamed was possible. Meanwhile, services inflation has just spiked to a level that we haven't seen in decades. The cost of living has become extremely oppressive, and the American people are becoming increasingly frustrated by this. Sadly, the truth is that over the past few years, the cost of living has been rising faster than our paychecks have, and so U.S. families have steadily been getting poorer. The average American family has lost the equivalent of more than a month's salary and annual income since President Biden took office, as high inflation and rising interest rates eat away at their finances, according to research by the Heritage Foundation. Experts at the conservative think tank analyzed consumer prices and interest rates, and found in their latest report released Thursday, 
that the average American household has lost the equivalent of $7,400 in annual income since Biden's inauguration January 20, 2021. The income loss represents an increase of $200 from September, when the think tank's research found a $7,200 decline in annual income for the average American household dating back to the start of Biden's term. Prior to the CV-19, we were in a low inflation and low interest rate environment. Now that the Federal Reserve has dramatically hiked interest rates, we now find ourselves in a high inflation and high interest rate environment. And higher interest rates are also hammering our standard of living. While their elected representatives in D.C. struggle to pay the nation's bills, Americans are facing a similar challenge, as their household budgets are stretched in due to inflation and higher borrowing costs. Those financial challenges led more than one-third of households to rely on credit cards or loans to buy necessities in December. Average credit card interest rates reached a new record high of 19.14% APR, compared to a Bankrate.com database. Americans are increasingly relying on credit cards to make it from paycheck to paycheck, resulting in higher levels of indebtedness. Rising credit card balances in an era of rising interest rates is a path to insolvency, Antony told Fox Business. The average interest rate on credit cards is now around 20%, while half of Americans cannot pay off their credit cards each month, and balances are growing at a 16% annual rate. We are getting hit from both ends. We have to pay more to buy the things that we need, and we have to pay higher interest rates when we borrow money to pay for those things. The Federal Reserve is set to lost control, and we are careening toward the sort of historic economic crisis that I have been warning about for years. But those that are under the spell of the corporate media will continue to assume that everything is fine and that our leaders have a plan to get us out of this mess. I truly wish that was true. Unfortunately, the short-term economic outlook is extremely dismal, and prominent voices all over Wall Street are warning that 2023 will be a really rough year. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.